Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Now I'm gonna review Ferris. So let's start from her stats. So her stats, I must say, it is quite decent compared to Terra Neo Vision because like you can see that she gets better health, defense, and spirit boost for magic and true dual wheel setup. They are the same. And the good thing about Ferris is she can become physical attacker okay so for Terra she is an evoker and magical attacker but for Ferris physical and evoker okay so that's the difference and talking about evoker I must say that Ferris is inferior in quote compared to Terra because like you can see that Ferris get 180% evo magic and I mean 180% evo damage and 60% evo magic for Terra, she gets 240% EVO magic and 60% EVO damage. So I assume they are the same. Okay, so if you sum the number, that means Terra get like 300% while Ferris only get 240%, 60% lower. Okay, but again, Ferris get better limit burst damage because Ferris get 100% limit burst damage boost. But for Terra, if I'm not mistaken, she only gets 75% limit burst damage boost. So that's all for these stats. Now let's talk about the normal form. For normal form, she is an evoker. Okay, so first, her normal attack is upgraded. So it deals 40 times evoke damage, which is nice because you get boost from your evo damage and evo magic. And another nice thing is, remember, if you are dual wield, Yes, she should be dual wield, okay? And you equip like Aurora Scarf, any weapon that has two hit combo ability, then you should trigger this attack four times. I haven't tried this, but it is like this on the pass, okay? So I, I assume the same for Ferris, but the downside is it is non-elemental attack. So you cannot take advantage from your imperil. Okay, but it will be useful if the enemy uh, weak. Maybe, maybe in the future there will be enemy who weak, or you must use non-elemental damage on them. Then at that time, this kind of attack gonna shine. Same for the Chaos Wave Chain. It does 80 times evoke damage. Nice damage. Okay, 80 times. But Chaos Wave Chain, who gonna use it on today? Okay, and it is non-elemental. So yeah. Just wait until we need to use non-elemental attack. Next, Graviton Cannon Chain. So it deals 72 times, and I believe it is flexible element. It is not evoke, okay? It is magic damage. So I got nothing to say about this. Maybe good, but um, who gonna chain with Graviton Cannon? Maybe this one good on the arena if it is usable because I'm not sure whether it is usable or not because there is inflict that attribute. And the unique thing is this, water and arrow cannon. So this one, I believe this is chainable with quadcast chaos wave awaken. Because if you take a look on the scale, there is chaos wave awaken uh, symbol family. And based on the wiki, it is 32 hits attack. So I believe it is quad cast chaos wave awaken, but correct me if I'm wrong, okay? This is nice, but also bad at the same time. First, like you can see that the imperil happen after you cast the damage. So correct me if I'm wrong again, okay? But from my understanding, that means you won't get benefit from the uh, quad cast. I mean, from the imperil until your next attack. So really, if you want to use this on, let's say, uh, Dark Vision, then you probably need to have other characters who are able to imperil water on wind magic by themselves, okay? And because, like I said, this is chainable with Quadcast Chaos Wave Awaken, I think this is not that special because, yeah, 288 divide by force that means this is on par with about 72 times chaos wave awaken 
Okay, 72 times per cast, I mean. So, sure, it seems huge, but maybe not that special. Okay, so let's talk about the Limit Burst. The Limit Burst, I must say, this is like Terra, if you pay attention, okay? Evoke damage, and for Terra, she uses fire, but for Ferris, it is Wind Element. One thing you should notice here is the base damage. It is lower than Terra. Terra deals 80 times fire evoke damage, while Ferris only 72 times. Okay, so with this in mind, Ferris deal less damage. Second is like you can see here, enable area effect. Increase wind physical damage 25%. So from what I know, okay, from what I know, this increased wind physical damage doesn't boost your LB. Because your limit burst is evoke, not physical, not magical. So basically, you don't get any benefit for this form. And remember, this is physical. That means it is also not useful for your Granny's ability because your Granny's ability deal magic damage, right? Again, correct me if I'm wrong, okay? And this limit burst require 100 limit burst crystals. What does that mean? You really need someone who can entrust their limit burst to you. Because if you don't have that, then I can say good luck. I know her brave ship form has recharge, but it is limited only for two times. So like I said, good time, okay? And the normal form doesn't have limit burst damage buff. Okay, so that's all I want to say. Let's talk about the brave ship form. So Brave she form, she becomes a chainer. She can chain with absolute mirror of equity, but again, nothing special. It is locked to fire element. It deals 72 times damage, which is average. But what's special about this one is the imperil. You get 130% fire imperil, which is the meta, okay, above the meta. Okay, the meta is 120%. So 130% is above average, okay, really nice. And her normal attack is also upgraded because five becomes 500% sword break damage. Again, if you make her into dual wield and have like uh, two hit combo, this should deal four times attack. So, which is very nice to break enemy who weak against sword. Okay, and good thing about this form is she has 50% fire damage boost to herself. So yes, 50%, most characters only get 25, 30%, she get 50%. It is special. Even Barge, I have said good things about Barge preview, but still, it is higher than Barge. Very nice, and other than Chainer, she can also become a breaker. She can break... 80% of all stats only for one enemy but it lasts for five turns so yes it is pretty decent okay you can you get chainer and breaker at the same character and she can yeah she has a buff okay attack and magic 300% which is very nice limit burst damage also 150% for six turns so yes this one is nice for you who need limit burst damage on her normal form okay but again you need to uh switch to brave she form wait for three turns and then return back to normal form and yes finally you able to become i mean to get that limit burst damage buff which is kind of annoying and if you take a look on the grandest ability it is even more annoying it is like terra okay feel her limit burst to full get 250% limit burst damage and imperial wind resist so basically i can say that this grandest ability is made for her normal form but i don't know the reason why they put this on her brave ship form okay this is kind of annoying because if you remember again terra terra grandest ability is on her brave ship form and her evoke limit burst is on her brave ship form too but because on this one Win Imperil not gonna benefit you on Brave form, okay? So you need to use this 
and return back to normal form. But like you can see that this only lasts for three turns. Okay, you can only go back to your normal form after three turns. Okay, so that means don't use this on the first turn you change into private ship form. I know it sounds obvious, but because of this, I can say that her setup is very long. For Terra, okay, for Terra, I don't talk about anyone who able to support, okay? For Terra, Terra herself, on battle, she will become Brave Shift, use her Grandis, and on the second turn, she can immediately unleash her Limit Burst. But for Ferris, you cannot do that because on the first turn, okay, you change into Brave Shift form, you cannot use your Grandis ability. Because if you use this, then on the turn when you can revert back to normal form, your limit burst damage buff already gone. Okay, so you need to wait about one or two turns, basically until your uh, breath shift to normal form cooldown only one turn, then you use this. So uh, I assume you can unleash your uh, limit burst on the fourth turn. Which is kind of annoying, okay? Because like you can see before that her limit burst damage is lower than Terra. 72 versus 80. And for this Brave Shift form, her limit burst is Physical Finisher. It deals 120 times and also break 85% all stats to one enemy. Okay, the Fire Imperil, I don't think it is that important because you can Imperil the enemy constantly use your mirror of equity chain and this imperil happen after you deal damage so in the end you still need to imperil the enemy first right so you may say to me that whoa she's really good she can break and deal damage at the same time yes you are correct but let me tell you what annoys me first of all this one costs you 100 limit brush crystals okay which is too lot too many for 120 times damage 120 times it is good i don't say it is bad but 100 limit burst just compare it to laswell and regan laswell regan limit burst only need like 46 okay 46 46 or basically lower than 100 right and you deal 100 times so sure this one has better uh damage modifier but the point here is it's too many you may argue with me but last gen cannot break yes sure they cannot break but again this one are you able to use this limit burst every three turns once your grandest ability run out i don't think so guys because 100 limit burst is insane you really need to have support like let's say warrior of like parts who are able to entrust her every time you need to break so i don't say she's bad okay but i simply point how you should use her when you want to make her into breaker and finisher at the same time make sure you have someone to able to entrust okay and this limit burst is also nice of course because she has that 50 percent fire damage boost Okay, so that's all I want to say about the Brave Shift form. Now let's talk about equipment. So for equipment, it is pretty simple. Uh, her normal form, of course, you want to make her into Evoker. That means you need Evo damage, Evo magic, limit burst damage. Basically same like Terra. For her Brave Shift form, it is physical finisher. Of course, you want to give her that one, okay? physical attack i mean attack stats and limit burst damage too and now let's compare her with terra let me warn you that when i meet this guy the forest trust mastery word and stmr are still not available on the ffb equip that's why for the weapon section i use two terra sword okay but i think maybe it is not huge difference because her trust ability only upgrade her normal attack so it doesn't 
affect her limit burst damage. Okay, and yeah, like I said, I think E4 damage and E4 magic are about the same in the end. Okay, so I assume this. Sorry if I'm wrong, but with this kind of setup, I use the calculation to max out their limit burst damage. As you can see, that Terra Neo Vision is still more powerful than Ferris. Okay, so it almost double the damage. 760 million versus 484 million okay so still Ferris Neo Vision is still very nice evoker okay I don't say she is bad because Terra is simply insane maybe the only character that able to surpass Terra is Luna Freya not sure about that okay but yeah this is the point if you really I mean what I want to say is this if you think that you want to pull Ferris because she will surpass Terra. I think you shouldn't pull because based on this calculation, Terra is still better. But if you really want to, let's say, complete the collection for the, let's say, Dark Vision, then yes, you can use Ferris, okay? But for Ferris, it is different on how you use Terra on Dark Vision, okay? For Terra, you bring someone like Realm, right? Realm who able to fill her limit burst to full and limit burst damage. But for Ferris, you cannot do that because Ferris need 100 limit burst crystals. So how you use Ferris on Dark Vision is by bringing and truster like Bartz. Bartz has full limit burst on the first turn. He also can end trust that limit burst. And then you need to bring second character maybe Lumina because Lumina can gives you 150% limit burst damage buff okay so that's the setup okay but if you know better setup please leave it on the comment okay so enough about equipment now my conclusion for Ferris so like I said Ferris is not a bad character but if you search for someone who is more powerful than Terra, then you may ignore her. Because like you can see before that Terra is still superior based on limit burst damage modifier, based on FFB equip. But again, maybe I have done the calculation wrong. Please leave it on the comment if I'm wrong, okay? And for her breath she form, she can become fire finisher, but I think the damage is pale in comparison to her evoke. But still, it is really nice alternative to have. She also able to become breaker too, but make sure you have Entruster if you want to use that 85% break constantly. If you don't need 85%, then don't worry because she still has that 80% break. Okay, pretty nice overall character and her trust master reward and STMR they are also pretty decent okay so for the trust master reward it is good for hybrid for any evoker for the STMR it is kind of niche like Terra STMR okay but if you really want to mix out her damage then it's good for her and Yes, let's say I'm wrong. Okay, let's say I'm wrong. Let's say that Ferris is more powerful than Terra, but still I'm kind of annoyed because her self setup is really slow, unlike Terra. Okay, you need like four turns to unleash her 250% uh, limit burst damage and normal form normal for limit burst okay but for terra you can do it on the second turn because it is on the same form okay this is kind of annoying i must say and for fusion card i can say this one is good okay especially for evoker because uh, it gives you 30 percent evo damage and it is also good okay it gives you high attack and magic stats really 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 good card i must say okay flexible card you can use this even on your non-evoker because you still get that 60 percent attack when you equip sword really nice 
and the level 10 requirement it is not it is not uh, serious limited it is gender limited it applies to female which is nice because uh, let's say let's use uh, Terra can use this and then like I mean who yeah, yeah I forget the name Starlet Elena yes Starlet Elena can also use this but Starlet Elena doesn't need that evoke damage so I simply give you the example because this card is simply flexible Okay, so yeah, I think that's all you need to know about Ferris. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Private Guys. Bye bye, guys.